So it's opening day here in North Dakota, uh, down in the Badlands. Um, it is, oh, let's see, 11 o'clock. And about 30 minutes ago, uh, I killed a turkey. I just got back over here in my bag and uh, I wanted to kind of walk you guys through uh, what you're gonna see because I'm gonna post it. And it was a pretty long drawn out thing and it was kind of fun. Um, so as what happened, uh, we got way back in here this morning in some of the most incredible country that I've ever, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable back here. And uh, the birds were completely quiet. We were back in here yesterday scouting and we knew there was a bunch of birds in here. Uh, but we didn't hear a peep, not a single gobble until about 9.30. So once we heard that gobble, we kind of figured out where they were at. Well, it turns out there was two groups and we got up on top of Big Knob. Of course, I forgot my, uh, my, uh, you know, binoculars, <laughs> those, the, those little things that, uh, you know, a little handy for this kind of stuff. But we got up on top of a really high, um, little ridge uh, and we could kind of see overlook everything that we were going to be hunting and we seen a bunch of turkeys up in a little clearing so I decided I was going to make a play on them and slip around and so I went way down into that stuff if you guys can see that it's uh I don't know it's the badlands it's the badlands that's just the only way I can put it and so uh, I slipped around and I got up in here and I could hear them gobbling and there was a pile of hens. I mean, there was five toms and probably 20 hens. And so I kept on, okay, I'm going to get a lot of crap for this, but I'm a terrible, terrible turkey caller. And so uh, I got a little box call and I was kind of yelping and they would kind of gobble back and strut a little bit, but the, they weren't coming to me at all. They were just going to go with those hens. And so... Um, I kind of kept on slipping, slipping through the trees, and I got to a point where I had a little patch of cedars between me and the turkeys, and I got to 10 yards, probably. And the problem was is that there were so many turkeys, I didn't know which one was the tom right away. And so I'm going to post the whole video, and you'll be able to see the entire interaction. Um, and then uh, I kind of turned over to my left, and all of a sudden there was a tom, and. Uh, I shot and he was so close that I ended up shooting behind his head on the first shot. Uh, yes, I, I miss. And uh, I miss turkeys, apparently. First time I've ever done that. But uh, I'm sure you guys, full choke at 10 yards, and pretty tight pattern. Uh, but I ended up whacking him with the second shot. And uh, here he is. Not the biggest, but certainly not the smallest. Pretty nice hooks on him. And uh, a beautiful Merriam's fan. So, anyways, I am uh, I'm jazzed, and you guys are gonna get to see the whole hunt. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's straight up redneck, but it was fun as hell. So, we'll talk to you guys.
videos.